Hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome to Big Fish Synergy, uh, my YouTube fishing channel. This is my first video that I'll be posting up. <laughs> We're smack dab in the middle of winter here in New Jersey. It's January 16th, freezing cold. We're out, uh, out in a reservoir right now. I am fishing from shore and I'm gonna try to get after them today with a um, Mega Bass Battalion and uh, a Rapala x wrap jerkbait. And I'll also probably throw some big uh, soft swim baits as well. Whoa, <laughs> I thought I was getting ambushed by a giant muskie or something. But uh, yeah, let's see how we do. All right, action. <laughs> Okay, so uh, got the old jerk bait on. A little bit, a uh, little bit warmer than before. About uh, 48 degrees, which is nice for this time of year. We're in uh, mid-January, so this is the coldest part of the year in New Jersey. Uh, had a big, big rainstorm yesterday, so it's uh, post frontal. We got the old X wrap Mossback Shiner. Shimano Aldebaran 20 pound uh, power pro braid going to a 12 pound liter via FG knot and uh, St. Croix Legend X 610. Here we go. This is always my uh, first spot that I stop and I hit him with a jerk bait. Seems to be uh, rather fruitful in this barren landscape winter landscape I should say So just got this little pick on a jerk bait. Uh, barely hit it, but uh, managed to snag them. Typical uh, cold water fish. Okay, so we have a uh, Megavass uh, Saltwater Battalion here. This is a slow sink version. Kind of like a perchish crappie striper hybrid. And speaking of hybrids, there are hybrids in here. I believe there's white bass in. Uh, there's definitely wipers. Um, and I think this is a good color for in here. So I haven't thrown this yet in this body of water. We'll see what happens. All right. And I'm fishing this on the Z2020 Daiwa. Whoa. <sighs> yeah. Tumultuous rock. I just hooked this. Uh, these two crappie guys had a line out. I had no idea. I didn't see it. But there was no sun out. 
and the, the water was kind of uh, kind of brutal and I hooked it and it got all tangled up and they're all pissed but I mean honestly these guys they have the entire res and they, they came like five feet within five feet of me for whatever reason which is uh, not good for anyone but uh, let's see if uh, this thing can yield some results I'm fishing this on the low down customs medium medium light oh, I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see it medium light uh moderate fast a half ounce to three Need a great rod for this i'm still waiting for uh the parabolic version but the mod fast does the job it's still soft enough to keep those trebles pinned and i know uh i don't know if you guys have fished uh, the saltwater battalion and you might be wondering why I'm fishing it here in freshwater but it's got just an absolutely phenomenal phenomenal uh, slow sink to it it's super slow I think it's very useful it stops on a dime and in this kind of uh, cold water that real slow sink on the stop sometimes that gets the job done rather than the slow float I'd rather keep it keep it lower It, man, on the pause, it just doesn't look much. Can't, can't really look much better than that. This is probably uh, tied for my favorite gill bait with the Gantarel. And you know, a lot of these swim bait dudes don't give the Gantarel, I guess, the respect it deserves because it's uh, mass produced bait. And you know, there's the whole cottage industry thing, the stigma in, uh, in the swim bait world, you know, and I get it. It's awesome to have hand-built stuff, but if a lure works, it works. And the, uh, the Gantrell, let me tell you something. That puppy works, man. It's just an incredible bait. So I've found that this Vitalian can be fished so many different ways. It's like a hybrid between a crankbait, uh, crankbait, jerkbait, swimbait. And as you can see, it's got that crazy, crazy action. Just a rod twitch will do so much with this bait. It'll turn completely around. And that's when they'll come in and smoke it. And I got it stuck in some grass there. Yep. It got stuck on its last hook. Sorry, stuck on the front hook. These are, these are some beautiful hooks. They look like decoys to me don't know the exact model since this is a Japanese bait all the writings in Japanese it's like a cross between like a size 2 and a size 1 you know somebody's size 1 could be bigger or the same as somebody else's size 2 it's pretty insane so much variation with that it's got to kind of eyeball it it fits the bait it fits the bait you know and I found like playing with hook size on this bait really Really does a lot. Got that X snap in front again. Let's see if you can see this. Right. Oh, actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to do real bumps, but now that the uh, the wind just picked up, it'll probably be too hard to see. But just quarter turn real bumps get this thing to do crazy, crazy stuff. will actually kick out way far to the side. You get it, you get the sweet spot. It's just like a perfect slow sink. I don't know what else to say. It is such a cool bait. You, know, you don't have to do a lot with this bait. You can just reel it and stop and it'll kick out to one side or kick out to the other side. And that's when the strike will come. And stop and pick up the reel or yeah pick up the reel and rod geez i can can't speak as usual if you pick up the reel and rod it'll almost do a full 360 on a stop so that kind of thing like i said before it's got that jerk bait quality to it so like if you're snapping it it will stop suspend briefly and almost turn around 
to face the fish. We all know it. Every every fish loves that. Can't, predators can't resist that, you know. A lot of these bass have been caught very, uh, very close in lately. I know they're just hanging out by that shelf. If this drops off into deep water or deeper water. You know, it's like a shelf that comes up and then you have access to deep water. And we all know that access to deep water with a uh, hard surface, hard chunk rock is a magnet for uh, bigger fish. You know, uh, talking about a drop anywhere from probably like around six feet here all the way down to 12 to 20. 25 depending on where you are in the shoreline oh just got a bump there i don't know if that was grass or maybe just a little Follow right there. There's a pick right under it. Wow. Unbelievable. I really hope the camera picked that up. He came all the way in. Insane. I knew it. I knew this color would be uh, a fish attracted in here. Just really mimics the natural forage. A lot of bait fish have the same kind of uh, same kind of look. GoPro add highlight. GoPro add highlight. GoPro add highlight. There he is. On the stop. Wow, that's a good one. Man, I knew we'd come back for it. Oh boy, got him good. Battalion. Pickerel. Bunch of chain pickerel. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's get the release. Maybe we should do it away from this branch here. Back to the depths for that pick. These rocks are biblical here at the, at the res. Oh, long way. My the friendly duck family has uh, returned. My God, I'm hooking everything except for a fish. All right, you know, let's go back with that same game plan that we had before with real kind of uh, finesse jerk tactics. Just a couple pops, letting it sit. I'll tell you what the jerk bait, the key is really to turn over the reel so you can get that spiraling action you know these things are light you want to slice through the wind and that really helps it's all about the follow through with that type of cast you know you want to cover water with this jerk bait sometimes these things will follow it all the way in and hit right at your feet 
that was basically what happened with that uh, the little guy from early on in the day. Wait, little guy? What do we have here? Crappie? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! There it is. Ooh, he nailed it. <laughs> the slam. The slam continues. See, see that slow jerk bait? That slow jerk bait bite seems to be the... That's the ticket. You guys, we just got a nice... Uh... What well, crappie! Look at the iridescence on that thing, on the uh, on the good old jerk bait. The X wrap again, uh, right before dark here, and I've been fishing it super slow with long pauses, and that seems to be the uh, the ticket today. So remember, in the winter, the longer the pause, the better, and the less action, usually the better. Very short twitches. All right, let's get a release. Let's see if you can see it. Here we go. <laughs> went right, right under the rocks. So that last crappie, the ticket again was that slow, slow cadence with a lot of pauses. He hit it though, you know, he didn't, that was better than that first pickerel bite, I gotta say. I mean, he wanted to eat it. Pickerel didn't know if he wanted to eat it, but he still lashed out because they're all testosterone, those things. Oh yeah, here we go. What is this? Another crappie? Yep. Oh, that's a good one too. Wow, that is a good crappie. My God. Guys, uh, again, another another good crappie on the uh, on the jerk bait. Just a slow kind of cadence, pauses, uh, a lot of long pauses, and this one hammered it. This is around two pounds. This is a good good sized crappie, maybe pound and three quarters actually. He's fat though. Check it out. Alrighty. All right, let's get a release. Ready? See you, buddy. Good fish. <laughs> Look at him, he's stuck. He's trying to get in the rock. Turn around, other way, bud. There you go. <laughs> See ya. And so, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning into this first edition of uh, the Big Fish Synergy YouTube channel. Uh, did pretty good, got out here kind of late, but got on a couple pickerel, and I uh, got that nice uh, black crappie at the end on the jerk bait, which seemed to be the ticket today. And even with the Vitaly and the, that savage bite from the pickerel, it was on a very long pause and I was really not, you know, going crazy. I was just kind of slow to moderate retrieve and uh, long pause and he hammered it. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video and check out all the links below and subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe if you like this type of content. I'll be coming at you with a lot more. Cheers, remember, one cast, one bite, one big fish. Peace out.